All right, so today we're hooked to 2015 Cadillac Escalade. I'm gonna kind of walk you through how you can use engine data to help you diagnose, pinpoint a misfiring cylinder. Uh, so we're gonna go into engine data, and then we're gonna go into the misfire data. Um, we're gonna see if the vehicle's able to detect the misfire and what cylinder is creating that misfire. So let's go here, cylinder one. No, mis no misfires, nothing in history. Cylinder injector, control circuit. Cylinder number two, 148 in the current misfire, 7,000 misfires. Okay, so we know <laughs> cylinder two um, is the one creating the, the misfire here in the vehicle, creating the shake. Um, let's see what other data here could be helpful. Is this, you know. fuel trim data. Oxygen sensor data. You see bank one. Let's look at that in graph mode. Bank one sensor one. Mechanic steady. Bank two, sensor one. Sitting high, um, so yeah, so that means it's running rich, sitting high. around at 0.87. So this is it's just sitting rich. Um, looks like it could be spark related here. So that's what we're going to focus our uh, diagnostic on. Now we just have to find and locate exactly where cylinder number two is on this vehicle. Okay, so we're back on the main menu of the engine control module and we're gonna go into special functions here and reset functions. Okay, so now that I've um, replaced that spark plug uh, with the uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit fuel trim reset. We're gonna hit reset. Okay, so the fuel trim on the vehicle has been reset. Now that we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and we're gonna go look at a little bit of engine data and see if misfire is gone on cylinder number two. Go to data stream, we'll go to misfire data, cylinder one, under two. two. Okay, so current misfire counter is at zero, okay? The cylinder two history misfire counter um, is kind of just showing what was there before we actually did the work. We can clear that out by clearing all codes on the vehicle. We're just gonna leave that in there. The vehicle feels great. It's not shaking anymore. Um, so let's back out and look at our fuel trim data now. Okay, and let's look at our short-term and our long-term fuel trends. Here's our long-term. Bank one and bank two, that looks good. And there's our short-term bank one and bank two. That looks great. Um, so, looks like the repair is completed and verified. That's your guys' tip for the day. Thank you.